بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم مائی نیم از اسد یعقوب اینڈ آئی ایم فرام لاہور پاکستان اینڈ ونس اگین آئی ویلکم یو گائز ٹو مائی پروڈکشن ویڈیو اینڈ اٹس مائی پروڈکشن فار سکس جولائی ٹو تھاؤزینڈ نائنٹین آئی ایلس ایگزام ویل گائز لیٹ می ٹیل یو ٹو بی ویری آنیسٹ پروڈکشن از آلویز پروڈکشن اینڈ انسٹیڈ آف پروڈکشن رادر آئی ایم گوئنگ ٹو پرووائڈ یو سم گائڈ لائنس واٹ ٹو پرپیئر so actually it's just not just a prediction it's a guideline video it's a video that is going to assist you what to prepare what to focus for 6 july 2019 exam let's take a start with listening in the last listening test some students complained the audio was very fast today before this video i was interviewing a student and he said the audio was very fast i was writing one answer then the next answer came and so on So guys get ready in listening section 1 the question type is going to be sentence completion as usual as ever before in section 1 will be the uh, sentence completion type of questions and in section 2 on 29th june there was a map uh, in idp along with some multiple choice questions this time also there are going to be multiple choice questions in section 2 and section 3 get ready for that i don't know exactly there can be 10 plus multiple choice questions or around 14 multiple choice questions along with multiple choice questions in section 2 and 3 there can be a map there can be matching questions right so you need to prepare that as well for section 1 sentence completion for section 2 and 3 multiple choice map and matching clear you need to prepare these three type of questions and for section 4 there is going to be one word only and a long lecture about that so this is all about listening that's why please focus multiple choice and focus map also there was map in the last exam they can be map because whenever they want to cover 3 to 4 questions they give a map and as far as multiple choice is concerned it can be abc or out of 5 select any two as well right so you should just go on with that now after listening i will talk about academic reading in the last test on 29th june many students complained that in academic reading in british council section 1 was quite difficult and as compared to that section 2 was easier right so uh, one of my students from india he was saying sir in your video recommend this to all the students that if you find one passage very difficult move on to the next one comparatively that can be easier do that and then come back to the first passage afterwards and again i tell you in reading the most important type of questions they are going to be completion true false not given yes no not given multiple choice which paragraph contains the following information they are going to be the very important type of questions along with that they can be matching matching means list of scientists and then the statements and you got to match that so these six questions uh, these six types are going to make your full test out uh, i think around 80 to 90% so you have to focus these six type of questions this is important for reading and as far as passages are concerned well they are all going to be based on science technology research and in the last exam some passages were quite difficult in usa one of my students who appeared in ielts test he said sir in reading passage one passage was so difficult that it took me around 5 to 8 minutes to understand the topic of that very passage so i'm not trying to scare you guys but anyways after one difficult test there is always a simple test as well this is also a quotation about ielts so maybe 6 july is going to be the easy test anyways focus that type of question and for gender training reading i would advise you guys you should focus section 3 section 3 is actually the heart of uh, gender training reading so chances are there can be some difficult questions and some difficult topics for the passage that's why you need to prepare that very well but again remember after one difficult test there is always either easy test or a moderate test so you guys are lucky who are going to appear on 6th of july now let's go on the next is writing 
in the last exam here in IDP Lahore, there was a topic uh, and that was a discussion essay. Discuss both views and give your opinion. The way I look at it, uh, on 6 July, there can be either opinion essay, right? Number one. Or there can be other type like uh, advantages outweigh disadvantages or is it a positive or a negative development. There can be that type of essays as well or otherwise it can be advantages, disadvantages, simple or cause and solution type of essays. So you need to focus these four types very well. My videos are available. You can watch and you should be familiar about the structure and topic can be any. It can be environment. It can be society, it can be global warming and other topics. I cannot say anything about that. I can only tell you the type of essay which is going to come. For writing task one academic, there is going to be like, it can be line graph, bar chart or a table. That happened in the last exam. It was about banana sales and all that. So maybe it's going to be the same for academic, but otherwise if they change, the second choice for the examiner that is going to be uh, 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 a map or there can be a diagram. So you need to prepare map diagram as well and otherwise line graph, bar chart and table. Okay guys, I really wish you all the best. Believe me, I wish you all the best and work very hard. Whatever, the, whatever comes in the test, let me tell you the same test is conducted. Students come out of examination room, some say the test was easy and some say the test was difficult. So actually it's not the test which is easy or difficult, it's your preparation. If you are under prepared, then the test is difficult. If you are over prepared, then even the toughest one is the easiest one for you. So I really wish you all the best. These are some guidelines and again I tell you prediction is always a prediction, right? But this might happen because my prediction is more like a guideline, more like what you need to do, do's and don'ts and all that. If you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel. I run another channel, Asad Yaku Vlogs, you can subscribe to that as well. I also teach IELTS online. If you want to join my online IELTS classes, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that and don't forget to send me your review after the test right after the test quickly and immediately because the same night I record the video so try to send me your review around 10 p.m. Pakistan time and India time okay before 10 p.m. you send me the messages and I'll make a video and don't forget to write your name your city your test center number like uh, test center was IDP British Council and send me all the details don't just tell me easy difficult and try to remember some answers as well do tell me the answers also thank you Asad Yaku wishes you all the best take good care of yourselves and really from the core of my heart good luck and best of luck